Crosswind is determined by the direction in which the wind is blowing across the landing line in relation to the final approach heading. This is a right crosswind. And this is a left crosswind, regardless of the position of your plane in the approach pattern. Let's examine the effects of a crosswind and how to correct for it. An aircraft flying directly into or with the wind travels a straight path over the ground. In a crosswind, the plane while moving forward is pushed away from this path in the direction of the wind. This off-course motion is called drift. To correct for drift, you must turn into the wind enough to counteract this sideways motion. This will make the plane fly at such an angle as to counteract the drift. This is known as crabbing. The amount of crab necessary will depend upon the strength of the crosswind. In crosswind approaches and landings, the standard field entry procedure is used and the pattern is identical to that of a 180 degree power approach to a touch and go landing. If it is a right crosswind blowing you away from the landing line, the bank of your approach turn is fairly shallow and your power reduction is more gradual. If it is a left crosswind blowing you toward the landing line, your power reduction is more rapid and your approach turn more steeply banked to avoid being drifted past the landing line. Also remember that on the downwind leg, to avoid drift that forces you away from the landing line in a right crosswind and toward the landing line in a left crosswind, you must set up a crab by making a balanced turn into the wind and leveling your wings when you have achieved the desired track paralleling the landing line. When abeam the upwind end of the field, always check your landing gear and then report wheels down and locked. Seeing that a left crosswind is causing you to drift toward the field on the downwind leg, you make a balanced turn into the wind and set up a crab so that your track over the ground will parallel your landing line. Obviously, a crab to either port or starboard will affect your wingtip distance from the field, and you must now gauge your wingtip distance from the position where you estimate your left wingtip would be if you had not set up a crab. Also remember that once you have set up a crab, you are in balanced flight. As you make your approach turn, you reduce your power and adjust your bank according to the direction and velocity of the wind. In a strong left crosswind, such as this that is blowing you toward the landing line, your power reduction is faster. and your bank in the latter part of your approach turn will be fairly steep. If a strong right crosswind is encountered, your throttle reduction would be slower and your turn more shallow. Continuing in for your landing, you are in level flight in the straightaway. Notice the amount of drift, in this case from left to right, of your plane over the runway. To counteract this drift, lower your upwind wing, in this case your left wing, while holding enough opposite rudder to stop your nose from turning toward the low wing. Maintain this wing down correction and slowly bring your nose up for a full stall landing. As the landing occurs, your wings will automatically come to a level position. During your landing run out, keep the stick full back and into the wind, keeping your tail down and achieving maximum efficiency from the locked tail wheel. Be particularly alert to notice any tendency of the nose to swerve and immediately make the necessary corrections.
Here is how a crosswind landing with correction for drift should look. Coming in for a landing in a strong left crosswind, the plane is in level flight in the straightaway. As it begins drifting across the runway, the upwind wing is lowered and opposite rudder held to keep its path straight. Making a full stall landing, its wings level off, and with the stick pulled back and into the wind, the plane begins its run out. With your landing run out under control, take off again, still holding the stick into the wind and using rudder pressure to avoid weather cocking and maintain a straight heading as you advance throttle. As your takeoff speed increases, you gradually ease off pressure on left rudder, still keeping the stick into the wind and maintaining a wing level straight path down the runway. As the plane leaves the ground, it will begin to drift to the right. To compensate for this drift, set up a crab by making a gentle balanced turn into the wind thus maintaining a straight path over the ground. Don't use excessive rudder in the turn, which would dangerously reduce performance at this critical time. With the drift corrected, continue making a normal wing level climb out of the field. To review, if it is a right crosswind blowing you away from the landing line, the bank of your approach turn is fairly shallow and your power reduction is more gradual. If it is a left crosswind blowing you toward the landing line, your power reduction is more rapid and your approach turn more steeply banked to avoid being drifted past the landing line. To follow a straight path over the ground in a crosswind condition, set up a crab by making a balanced turn into the wind, then leveling your wings when you have achieved your desired track. In landing, to counteract your drift across the runway, lower your upwind wing while holding enough opposite rudder to stop your nose from turning toward the low wing. Keep your stick full back and into the wind during your landing rollout. When you are airborne after takeoff, compensate for your drift by making a gentle balanced turn into the wind thus setting up a crab which is maintained as you continue your climb out of the field.